They have their own version of that. You better believe it. They've seen from Newcastle, all from local state schools, beat Nottingham in a final at Get This Lords on Saturday, playing on the famous pitch, as well as using the pavilion dressing rooms and taking lunch in the players' dining room. Thank you very much. Yeah, Tom Barton's caught up with them. This might look like any other summer holiday knockabout, but these teenagers from Newcastle have achieved nationwide glory. Playing and winning at no less a venue than Lords. The uh, team running on to congratulate the skipper Charlie Cook. We're from Newcastle. Newcastle don't normally win things. We're from Paul Richelieu and North East, and then when we're coming together in winter like that, it's, it's really nice. It's a nice bit. Team. And for you as a captain, you know, what was your approach to leading this team to trying to get them to the point that they could win the tournament? Well, it's quite an easy job because they'll have to, the, the dream, the captain really, because they're, they're, they're all aware of what they're doing on a cricket field. They know what their job is at any given moment, so you don't have to do too much. Frankie Gibb Kirk taking a wicket with his first ball of the match. Oh, Captain gave me the nod to come on the ball. I was a bit nervous and uh, pulled off first ball. Bowling with a nice new international Dukes ball, which was nice for the MCC. So I uh, pulled it, swung away a bit, pulled on first ball, and uh, nerves were gone after that. <laughs> must, have, must have felt absolutely amazing. Yeah, it was electric. The chance to lift a national trophy, a milestone. For these really good. Oh yeah, it was an excellent feeling. I mean, there was—I think as a team, we all knew there was no other option than winning. I think we all really wanted to win because, like, we didn't want to turn up and lose because, like, it's not much of a story. Like, you can say, "Oh, I played loads, but I lost," I, and you played it loads and you won. So it was—it was much better, yeah. And for their coach, a massive achievement. Quite unbelievable. There's so many good cricketers across all the areas and. You've got the likes of Yorkshire, you've got the likes of Lancashire, where they can pick their sort of regional squads that sit just below county. Obviously, we don't have that up here. And for a group of 12, 13 lads to go all the way through it against teams of that calibre is an outstanding, an outstanding effort and an outstanding achievement. For these teenagers, it's onwards and upwards as they work to make more cricketing dreams come true. Tom Barton, ITV News, Newcastle.